Spin my clock, she can't stop. Fuck around, make my 40 pop. No pop con, I pop pistols. What it do YouTube, my name is Bear Witness, welcome back to the channel. Now in today's video, we're going to be talking about Battlefield 5 and its ba upcoming Battle Royale mode, and uh, how DICE is kind of worrying me in a way. But, before we get into that, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys are going into the description below and following the link so you guys can get registered for my $25 gift card giveaway of for the console or thing of your choice. You know, we're doing Amazon, Xbox, and PSN, just to clarify, so if you guys haven't signed up for that, go ahead and get signed up so you guys can receive that. We'll be doing giveaways pretty much all year, guys because last year was absolutely killer and this year we want to make it even better so i decided that that's something that we're going to be doing all year so with that without you know further ado let's get right into the video so dice has me a tiny bit worried now uh, this isn't if you guys didn't know there was a uh, time to kill change now dice has made a lot of bad decisions you know between certain things in battlefield 5 between certain things when it comes to uh, star wars battlefront 2 uh, dice has made a lot of bad decisions so it's not to be it's not a surprise that they're kind of walking on eggshells and they realize that some uh, one wrong decision could completely wipe one of their games now the biggest problem i have is that they have an upcoming battle royale mode that we don't even know what it's going to be called so there's that for the record but it's supposed to launch sometime in march of 2019 now that's what's up when it comes to the idea of like battle royales are awesome in fact if you guys are not new to this channel you guys know i pretty much only play battle royales at the current moment as do most people you know but genuinely i have a lot of fun with battle royales but currently the time to kill in battlefield has me somewhat worried about their battle royale now the thing is is this they switched the time to kill recently and they wanted to make it a little bit easier for newer players now they realized that this was a problem because the uh there, there was an outrage uh, like a legitimate outrage and it they 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 went on to create a small letter you know or not necessarily a letter but a post online they were talking about how they didn't mean to cause a divide to which it was it was in fact there was no divide it was the whole community as a whole was very upset about the situation and because of that they actually ended up reverting their um their their, their decision uh, in the game and that's not a big deal to me actually in fact i am very proud of them and i'm very glad that I, even as a triple a title they decided to you know do the good the right thing revert it back because their community is important in fact they take a lot of pride inside of their veterans and uh that being said that's a big step because a lot of a lot of game companies don't really see that they don't really do that they kind of focus on making money and that's and so they need the new players they need the constant new players and battlefield said no we're not going to do that we have a good foundation and that's what we're going to keep up and anybody new has to just wang with it now that's fine and dandy but the problem i'm seeing is now that they've caved now that they've done a big decision like this will this be something that affects the rest of the game now battle royales are very 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 tricky when you're making them because most of them have some sort of armor system which we have not seen any type of one implemented in blackout there was even before you played even even if you never played blackout before in black ops 4 if you played the multiplayer there was a body armor system and that was kind of your you know you you knew from that point on that was what was going to be in the game so there is a body armor system inside that fortnite has its armor h1z1 has its armor pubg has its armor every battle royale has an armor system that we have not yet seen implemented so it would be a completely different thing to the game now here's the thing without any type of armor system or anything like that they're gonna have to make time to kill adjustments and i don't think that i think that if the veterans of the game uh, at the current moment because i can't even consider myself i have been playing battlefield for a very long time um but this one was not when i started playing as soon as it came out well, so with that being said i cannot call myself a veteran per a veteran per se but when it comes to the situation i really feel as if this is one thing that I think the battle royale is gonna maybe cause a bigger divide than the original t or time to kill did when they uh, uh, adjusted that <clears throat> because of the fact that if they do this there's going to be and they have no armor system it will be one of the hardest battle royales to play and when battle royales are hard to win based on the fact of you have no health you die very fast and things like that not only is it a problem like that but you have this situation where everybody's campy and you have this 
almost it, it feels almost like a toxic a toxic battle royale experience so there's such a fine line of the things that they can and can't do when it comes to the game when it comes to battle royales and i think i'm stre i'm not stressing about it in a sense of like oh my god i'm worried about but the thing is is that it's something i hope not to see I hope they kind of come in with a good plan. In fact, if they even wanted to release it as kind of like a beta game mode, and uh, you know, that's that's probably my biggest advice. So um, hopefully, this video at some point in time gets sent to, uh, or they get to see it. And you know, uh, but you know, I'm, I'm I'm more of a small YouTuber right now, so I don't know if they will see it. But hopefully, you guys can smash that like button and get this to them. But I think the best thing that they could do, especially since it's still so much time away is for them to go ahead and say you know here's the deal this is a beta so there's a lot of things that are going to change over time and a lot of things that are going to be adjusted because it's obviously going to happen but i feel like if they just launch the game mode like that and the community is gets upset about it because once you cave once the community thinks they have the power to make you cave again so there's three things that i hope doesn't happen i hope they uh they don't make the battle royale so community driven that uh because i don't i don't think that veterans have a place in the battle royale because it was the, it's going to be the first time that the game is experienced by old and new players alike so with that being said i hope they it's not super community driven to the point where everything is a problem and i also hope that the game mode it implements a, a little bit more health than the current like the, the original base game i actually enjoy quite quite a lot i do I, I i have a lot of fun playing the game at the current moment but the time to kill is very fast things happen very fast no matter what gun you're using you are almost dead instantly in certain situations so i really would wish that that wouldn't but like i said that would make battlefields battle royale the hardest on the market which could give it a lot of appeal in a certain situation but people don't really like hard things so when things are hard they end up not liking them and switching to easier things to play and things like that so all in all I am looking forward to the Battle Royale to see what they do and to see Battlefield's take on it because I've always felt like Battlefield could really take the Battle Royale scene by the balls. So I'm really hoping that that actually happens and I'm really hoping that this is a, just a very fun experience for me, new gamers, uh, to the Battlefield scene and old. So yeah, I hope that, I, hope, I, I really do. I also hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, you guys know what to do. You guys can leave a like down below as well as clicking that sub button and that bell to be notified on every single one of my uploads. And with that being said, I hope you guys have a nice, wonderful rest of your day, night, whenever you guys are watching this video. And with that being said, peace.